let's do some quartering. Okay, so we got the Mikado, Mantua, heavy metal. I got this. Here's our wheels and gear. I graphite coated it all. It's gonna look really cool. All wheels are clean, all wheels are engaged. I have cleaned its cradle, painted it, cleaned out all the contacts, cleaned the pieces, ox guard, good to go. And what I wanna do now is we're gonna ox guard these wheel sets later. Before we quarter it, we're gonna go ahead and hit the axles quick. Take some ox guard, right? Okay. We don't want to get, uh, no, it doesn't matter. These are insulated. Mm -hmm. All right, Let's roll them over. Guess what, it's gonna be way out of quarter now. But, that's the whole point of this, is to get it in quarter, right? Well, first we gotta get, we wanna make sure we got our axles ox guard. And this will spread out as we, when we test it. All right, now they're gonna stay nice. They did have, they had, they had a little bit of corrosion rust and stuff on them, which we cleaned off, okay. Here it is. First up, let's look at this. This is where they sit. Now this goes inside like that. All right, that means this is gonna sit down in there. So let's, let's see what do we know about what we're doing here first. One, it's upside down, so we need to be upside down. Two, we've got two straight axles, a gear slot, and another axle. So, first, are we oriented the right way? Two straights, gear, yes we are. Okay, so this will just sit down in there, but we gotta quarter it first, and it's not, because we turned it around. First up, if we were facing the right way, all this linkage here, okay, this is kind of independent of the quartering, meaning, if we were just to take it off and get rid of it, we would still have our driver our drivers there and and this doesn't really matter we can fix this up later as long as we get it oriented the right way what this does tell us is are we going to be in the right way if I put it over this way it's right side up if I put it here there we go that guy I know that guy's at the top so when I flip it over he's got to be at the top all right so we've got it oriented the right way now we're gonna look down on it we got to get these axles straight and they're not but at the same time we need this guy here to be all the way straight across now remember what I said before number one see these counterweight things you ignore those when you're quartering okay they're decoration just don't pay attention to them it's these nuts and that, that connect these rods together. Those got to be straight across. And if you pull, okay, they're straight across. Now, go ahead and drop They're straight across. And if they are straight across, and then we roll them to say, whatever we got here, something like nine o'clock on the clock there. If we got them straight across, then the other side should be also straight across, and it should be at a 90 degree difference, which it is. It's at 6, we're at 9, it is now quartered. There it is. If you have to, we've already checked the gauge, these wheels are engaged. If you have to do gauging, that thing, that puller, the Northwest Short Line puller that I was using, this guy, the one I tell you not to use on motors, use this for gauging your wheels. I tell you what, this is good, 
good tool for that because you don't have to rotate the wheels like we usually do for other like if this was out of quarter i'd twist a little bit till or out of out of gauge i'd twist it till it was engaged but you can't do that with these you need them to be in quarter and that puller can pull them out without changing their orientation so that's if you're gonna do a lot of steam it's a good tool to have it's kind of expensive but it's a good tool to have and that other tool that i talked about that i have never tried called the quartering tool it's that looks like it's probably a good thing if you do a lot of steam. So here we go. Now that we got them, I want to set them in here just like this. Now this, if they set down in here right, all their axles are straight across. And if we are in quarter, see that one doesn't sit, doesn't sit right? We got to look. It's looking a little low right there, so we're going to twist it into position. We're going to twist this guy into position. I want all these guys to be in here with their driver straight across. They got to be all the way set down. All right, now let's pull them. Pull them until they're straight across like that. Pretty close. There, that's quartered. Okay, pull. If they're straight, they're quartered. Very nice. Whoops. I got one came out. It's okay. We're going to lock them down. All right. And then we want to carefully put this guy on. See where does he sit? Oh, he sits right. He sits right there. Okay. He's going to lock them all in place. And we've got four screws here. Oh, one of them is longer. I'm guessing the longer one is this guy. Okay, let's go ahead and put some screws in here. Mm, we got one short one. Hopefully we can figure out which one goes where because I want to turn this over and then we, we can try it if it's in quarter it is going to okay let's not lock them down tight let's leave them in there but a little bit loose kind of like when you're putting a you know how if you put a tire on your car you're supposed to go around, get them on there loose, and then you start tightening them opposite ways. That way we want to make sure we're getting the perfect fit. Because this piece here holds those little brass things in place. And it locks them down. After we're done polishing our, our gear, then we're going to oxcart the wheels. Now, if I did this right, look straight across to me. I should be able to roll this. These guys here are going to be kind of, they're going to kind of make it hard, but I think we got it. We do. Very nice. I'm going to include this video in the whole video for the build on this. I'm not going to show everything on this. It's the first time I've done one of these, and we're going to do some new stuff. And i got to experiment on it, but I'm going to show you all the highlights and stuff. There we go. we got it quartered. Sweet. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to go through, and I'm going to polish this with some graphite on it. And it's going to look really nice. That's it, quartered. There you go.